just too awesome. Hey, what's up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here, doing another Kodobo Kibi Shoujo statue review on the Freddy vs. Jason Horbis Shoujo Jason Voorhees statue. For sure, get this statue, you can get a big, 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 big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Again, big thanks to Kodobo Kia for making this review possible. Check the links in the description below for the latest from Kodobo Kia. And anyway, on the top of this thing, I really like how we get the mask right there through all those cutout dots. I think that is very cool. Then on the side, we get the nice artwork going there. There's a pretty girl. Wow, a lot of muscles right over there. And then on the back, we get a picture of the statue. Then there's this whole bio. If you want to read that, pause it now. And I really like how this cut out right there, the cardboard. I think that's really cool. And then on this side over here, we get some more product shots of the statues. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here she is out of the packaging. And as assumed, she is a gorgeous figure. I really like it. Uh, I don't like it as much as the Freddy one, but still, this is a very nice looking female Jason Voorhees. Uh, it's a much taller, thicker character. Uh, she's much bigger than the Freddy. Uh, you can see she's got like this torn up section right there. It's conveniently placed. I like that. I really like the tatters right over here. Now she does come with her uh, machete and her axe. They are separate and you have to put them in her hands. And I gotta say, uh, it's not really that fun putting the axe in her hand right over here. The machete is not so bad. The handle just slips right through there and that's okay. But putting the axe right here, it was a little tricky for me, but you know, the fingers were able to kind of bend out of the way for me to get it in there and it's not so bad actually but it was just a little scary. Nothing broke or anything and no paint scuffing or anything like that so we're all good. Now the magnetic base over here is very similar to the Jason one except this is with green and it does have that black shading going all the way around at the edges of it. I think that's really cool. There's the magnetic strip and you can see the magnets at the bottom of her feet. As always, Koto Bikita delivers on the face sculpt. Just very, very beautiful. Bishoujo is supposed to translate into pretty girl and yeah, that's the emphasis of these uh, statues I guess anyway and then this is a very beautiful looking face. I like it. I really like the Vorhees mask right over here. That's cool. I like the scuff marks on there. I like how the white kind of has a grayish hue to it on top of those scuff marks right there. So I just think that's pretty awesome. I'm really digging that a lot. The hair sculpt is really cool. We get some paint variation right there with the black. Then we get those silver paint apps and everything. That's just looking very clean to me. I'm really digging that a lot. It does not look too bad. I really like the silver paint apps at the edge of the axe over there. That looks pretty nice. And I really like the sculpting right there and the wood for the handle of the axe too. And this coat is awesome. I'm really digging it a lot. I like that sculpted texture right there. I think it looks really cool. We get some nice black shading in it, some variety of colors in here, just looking really awesome. I really like the sculpt on the trench coat. And I'm really impressed with these tattered edges over here. I think that looks really, really cool. Now, Jason is a very large character, and they did go large on this statue. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's pretty nice. I mean, that they gave her some serious cleavage over here. And then for you guys that are into abs on chicks, you know what I mean? You get that over here. You know, she's got a very, very solid six-pack over here. I like the red paint right there for those cuts and everything. I think the belt came out looking pretty solid. Again, very clean silver paint apps over here. And then I really like this tattered section. Kind of similar to the Daisy Dukes on the Freddy figure. You can see there's some really nice paint right there. And I think that looks very cool. I like that a lot. And I like how it's cut in the inner thighs. That's pretty sexy. That's a pretty nice design. And coming around the back right here, as I had mentioned. Conveniently, they made the coat, you know, sticking up in the wind and everything. So you could see right there. But she's got very, very small butt cheeks, you know. And actually, on both the Freddy and the Jason, you know, there's not much of a protrusion sticking out over there, which isn't supposed to be the main focus. Someone had left a comment saying, you know, you shouldn't talk about the butt so much, you know, it's not the main focus of the figure, it translates to pretty girl. And I guess you're right about that, even though, you know, the translation could be extended to hella fine ass chicks. But anyway, I digest. This machete right here was looking really cool. I like that gunmetal color right there. Again, we get a darker red for the blood at the edge of the machete, looking really nice. And then I really like the wrinkles right there and her black pants and everything. We get some more cuts right there at the bottom and we get some nice lace boots. Let's get a side pan of the statue right over here, looking not too bad. Do another pan down. She look pretty. I really like the thickness of this one though. Kind of reminds me of Wonder Woman, you know? She's got that kind of hotness to her. I like that. It's not too bad. I want to say the statue stands at around nine inches tall. And here she is next to Bishojo Freddy. I like both of these statues. Gotta say I do like the Freddy one a little bit more though. Here she is next to the Hellifine Musket Bishojo Starfire. And here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I do like this statue a lot. I do prefer the Freddy one more and it may have something to do with me preferring Freddy as a horror monster more so than Jason Voorhees. Uh, I just thought Freddy had, you know, kind of a more creative aspect to his killings and everything. But I like them both. I think this is a very sexy statue and I highly recommend it. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe and check out ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news and check out SharpnessPrime.net for the daily blog. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>
We get to, whoa, we just like flicked the machete. Hey, don't be a pinch here, Hoto man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button already if you haven't. Come on, man, hit that subscribe or watch one of the videos below.